Okay, right now I'm headed to uh, Dewarty, to the Dewarty uh, substation to meet with uh, Shanoa. And then we're going to go talk to uh, Public Safety Director Brian Villalobos. He's going to give us an update of what's going on with the uh, situation in Dewarty with the fires. The another helicopter is making a water drop. Uh, it's been going on all day. Okay, I was checking on the fire situation over in Azusa. And now I'm headed back into Dewarty. Okay, I'm driving back to Dewarty, but check it out. Look at this big old building that they built in Azusa. It's huge. It's huge. And I think it's supposed to be some new big time brewery that's going to open in the spring 2017. It's so about a year from now, but it was huge. And you can see we've got evacuation site signs. So the city was well prepared in pointing out where the evacuation sites are. And we're coming up to City Hall and you can see the evacuation site signs point into City Hall. There's the statue of Andrus DeWarty keeping an eye on City Hall. Okay, we're over here at the Public Safety Sheriff Office here in Dewarty. We're going to go inside and talk to Brian and get an update on what's going on with the fire situation and how how everything's being handled. Okay, I'm here at the substation and this is an old map. This is uh, what, what it looked like before. So I'm going to go to this website that Susie gave me and that's supposed to have the most recent map. So we're going to go and check that out right now. Hey everyone, this is Noah Leanne and I am meeting Neil today at the uh, substation over here in Dewarty. So I'm running slightly late and we had an, we had an 11 o'clock appointment with Hey everybody, with, uh, this Brian. is Facebook Live. We are getting director. in the action still um, here in Dewarty and so we are getting a shot of the down. helicopter. I so we're with our friend Ricardo, he's showing the us the helicopter, I, telling us the models. Um, with we're going to introduce the firemen them. and the pilots that have been flying those helicopters. I was over hey. at the Canto Park today. This is the exclusive, you guys. What was the name of this helicopter again? Bell 205. Bell 205. Oh my god. This is so cool. We can get in? Yeah. Okay. been so amazing and astonishing to find out that these choppers that they've been using were actually used in the Vietnam War and the helicopters are so I mean extraordinarily built that they can continue to use them even now and they've used it for for you know rescue and they're going in and out of the fire the chopper that I was at earlier is a number two chopper so it I mean you guys such a great time I'm running in here to meet with Neil to see what's going down. I will catch so you guys. Soon. It's been so much fun, you guys, and oh my gosh. <laughs> Damn, what's going on? Oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> as expected, Brian's not there. He's handling the fire situation, okay? Brian is out in the field, but I just got the current edition of the Dewarty Dispatch, the wildfire containment oh, wow. improves. So we're gonna go and check on City Hall. They've got the evacuation center set up there. We wanna find out what's going on. But the good news is that the Dewarty residents that had a mandatory evacuation, according to the newspaper, they've been led back into their houses. Oh, good. So, you know, fire situation. If you see a knucklehead out there doing something dumb, you got to call the police right away. We don't know how these fires started, but from what I heard, one of them was a knucklehead. So. <laughs> okay, we're driving to City Hall now. We're gonna go see if we can see, get an update on uh, the fire situation. It's looking like it's handled. No, what do you think? Um, 
Um, well, from what I was told earlier, uh, with the sightings and the helicopters and them describing what's been going on, is the fire is very safe right now. It's very safe. It's very contained. Um, they're doing all that they can. They have the helicopters alternating out. Uh, they're dropping over 300 to 700 gallons of water at a time on the fire. They've been doing a really great job with containment. So hopefully we won't, you know, have to be affected by the fire. Department. And this building's coming along. It's looking great. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that property look so good. Let's go check out City Hall. There's the new pool. And there's the sign evacuation site to the right. So let's go check out what's going on. Sheriff standing by. And then the American Red Cross disaster relief vehicle is here. Okay, now we're over here at City Hall. Noah's getting her notes together. We're gonna go inside. The pool is closed today. Uh, the fire has closed down the pool. They have uh, really taking a lot of precautions around here due to the fire. They're gonna make sure everyone is safe. So safety first you guys. Pool's got to be closed even though it's really hot today. And it's a nice pool. The city remodeled the pool. It looks fabulous. So that should be open very soon. We got to go see what's going on with the American Red Cross yes, disaster, disaster relief. Disaster relief you guys. They are here holding it down. We're gonna see what what you know things that they've brought here and it's right here in the evacuation center they've created right here out of the community center in the ward <laughs> no, some will be able to go back and uh, retrieve some of their items uh, okay. possibly will come back um, and there's some that are going back and staying with friends so they come back to eat and um, Sorry. And then look, evacuees allowed to return at noon 622, so that's a good, that's a good sign. That is. And then right here, ID required, no livestock, RVs, small pets, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. That's not a problem. 